Well, the Ford government, it proposed sweeping changes to education today. It's cracking down on school boards and trustees to make them more accountable. And this is the part that's sure to be controversial. It's giving itself the power to sell unused school property. It's reasoning to improve student learning. When a third of kids are not confident in their reading skills upon graduation, that is a clear signal that the system uh, needs to be improved. To address that statistic and overall EQAO scores, Education Minister Stephen Lecce introduced his new bill in the legislature today called the Better Schools and Student Outcomes Act. It promises more accountability and transparency and training for school trustees and directors of education. Lecce has openly criticized the Durham board for mishandling the case of the Oakville teacher who repeatedly wore prosthetics to class and the Peel board for not addressing calls of systemic racism. Too many examples in Ontario, there's some notable examples and many other small examples in the province where they're not, uh, I think, at the standards when it comes to governance. Who controls the land schools stand on will be a contentious issue. While the moratorium on closing schools will not be lifted, the new bill means the provincial government will either be able to sell off school properties that are not being used or use the land to build affordable housing or long-term care homes. The education minister says he doesn't even know how many properties are empty or being rented out for other purposes, and this will speed up building new state-of-the-art schools. It should not take a decade to build a school in the city of Toronto or in a, or in a small community or, or a suburban community. Amidst the new changes in the bill, the education minister also announced this year's funding for grants for student needs, which will be 2.7%. 2.7% increase, I mean, that's not even close to what inflation has been. And that's over a $650 million net increase for the coming school year. It doesn't keep up with inflation. Uh, well, I mean, when you look at the overall story of GSN funding, of baseline funding, it's up from the former Liberals from 27%. The education minister defends the funding increase, saying 2,000 additional teachers will be in classes for the next school year. He also announced $180 million more yesterday for math and literacy. The NDP says it's still not nearly enough. It is more smoke and mirrors from a minister who will do literally anything but take responsibility for his own underfunding of education and the impact that that's having on kids. We know why our kids are struggling. It's because they are in overcrowded classrooms where they, they can't get the supports they need after three years of disrupted learning. It's because there aren't the special education supports that kids with disabilities and accessibility needs in our classrooms. Now the Liberals, uh, the provincial Liberals, also blasted this new bill, saying it will not support students' needs and that its sole purpose is to control publicly owned school board land and sell it off. They used the Greenbelt in Ontario Place as examples.